Hey, this is Buzz with episode 26.3 of Airwaves. And in this episode, it's here. It's the backpack I'm going to use for my radio field pack. It's the Terion XH, and it's next on Airwaves. Hey, this is Buzz with episode 26, part 3 of my Radio Field Pack series. And as promised, here's the backpack that I'm going to put all the equipment into. It's the Terion XH backpack. Now, as I said earlier, I did a lot of research on the internet trying to find just the right pack. At first I thought... Uh, uh, I'd probably use some kind of tactical military type backpack, but I just could never find the one that was just what I felt like I needed until I ran into this, the Terion XH. Now, this has some very unique features that uh, you won't typically see in a pack, and actually this backpack is designed to carry cameras and camera equipment. But one of the things that really sold me on this pack was this right here. That's a hard shell case. And since I'm going to have my Zygu G90 HF radio in there, that's, that's not a cheap radio. And uh, I want it protected. This has a, a polyester uh, material uh, on the pack. This here is uh, some kind of PVC. And uh, it's to protect the radio. I wanted something hard shell. So if something you know if the pack were to fall or something were to hit it that radio would be protected i also wanted some uh rain protection and this is water repellent this material but it also comes with a rain cover uh, which i'll show you here in a little bit but uh, just to show you the outside of the pack uh, again it has the hard shell here on the front if you look at the sides I know it's hard to see because it's black. Here we go. Uh, it has these stretch pockets where you could slide something down in there. And then it has these retaining straps above. On the other side, you have exactly the same thing. Stretchy pouch. And uh, if you look on the back, it has this grab handle. So you can carry it if it's not on your back. Another thing I liked about it, it has very wide shoulder straps and they have this air mesh material which should uh, help to keep it cool. Also on the straps you see it has D-rings so you can hang uh, more material on there, equipment. It also has a sternum strap which is good because it does not have a waist belt. Um, so if you don't have a waist belt I think you definitely need a sternum strap but it helps keep those uh, shoulder straps tight against you and so you don't have your load shift on you and uh, oh while we're here in the back also it has this uh, padded air mesh again on the back to help keep it cool and it also has a zippered pouch here in the back and this is designed for putting a 15 inch laptop in there it is padded to protect it and um, I am going to be carrying a tablet with me so I don't know, I may put that in there. Haven't decided yet uh, how I'm going to put all the equipment into the pack, but that's definitely a possibility. Turn back around to the front. And you'll see also a very unique feature about this is it has this roll top. Now you'll see this uh, typically on some uh, packs and backpacks. So you can adjust the size of your pack and the, and the load you're carrying. It has this retaining strap. And you can see that this goes up pretty high. And inside has a zippered top. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see inside there. Um, but it is a, a lined... Uh, silvery I guess that's still a polyester type material kind of padded but it also down in the bottom has a rectangular shaped padded area that covers about the bottom I guess fourth of this top fold down part of the pack 
okay? And another nice thing about it is once you've got it closed up, if you don't want to have to, say you have it rolled down partially, you don't want to have to open it up, it does have a zippered access in the back. And maybe there you can see that's that padded uh, compartment there I was telling you about. So you got easy access if you don't want to have to get everything out or unroll the top. So I thought it was a very uh, unique pack. But here's the part that uh, I said that that was one thing that I was really looking for, a hard shell cover. And then when you open this, If you look on the lid, it has these three pouches here, which has uh, an icon of an SD card, so that's what it's designed for. Um, but you could carry any kind of small item in there. Then you ha also have these two pouches here, which this is probably, well, it's about three inches deep. Whereas this top pouch, actually goes all the way down to the bottom of this pouch so it's a much deeper pouch so you have those to carry things uh, smaller things maybe cables and there's another reason I really like this pack not only does it have the hard shell to protect the uh, the HF transceiver once you open it up it has this other waterproof vinyl covering which has the netting in it which makes it very strong and then that zips down and this is your storage compartment now here's the rain cover that comes with it if you want even more uh, protection from the elements you have a rain cover and then you have this compartment and it has these velcro dividers so you can configure this in any way you want to so I can make this fit my Zygu G90 exactly so it's packed in there good it's got these are padded dividers and once it's in there I should still have some more room to put some other things in there if there's anything I'm worried about it uh, might be on the fragile side but as you can see you can tailor this pack uh, to whatever you're carrying which is really nice and uh, it has all these features that I love to help protect the, uh, the radio. Because when you're out in the field, to me, that's, that's your major concern is uh, keeping that HF transceiver uh, dry and uh, safe from the elements. So, again, the roll down top. And then you have the strap to secure it. So you can also use this strap to, uh, I probably will take my solar panels and uh, put them up here and have this strap hold those down. But anyway, that is the Terion XH backpack that I will be using for my radio field pack. And in the next episode, I'm going to load this baby up and see how it looks and... Uh, I think it's going to be great. This is episode 26, part 3 of the Radio Field Pack Project. And in the next episode, uh, part 4 will be the final one. We're going to wrap it up by putting all the equipment in this bag and see how it all fits together. This is Buzz with Airwaves, and I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Also, like and share the video, and I'll see you down the dial.